Hi, my name is Jacob Youngblood. I'm a web developer here at National Control Devices. Today I'm going to show you how to control an Ethernet relay board through signal switch without the board being connected to a computer. The first thing we're going to need to do is go to the IP address of the relay controller. If you don't already know the IP address for your relay controller, we have a video of how to find it on our website. Once you go there, you should see a screen like this. You'll put in the username of root and the password of DBPS. Once you're on this screen, on the left you'll see Network under the Configuration. Select that. Make sure this Obtain IP address automatically using DHCP is selected. Now we'll want to click on the Advanced Network Settings. From here, you'll select this. Put this as 0, 10, 0, 75, 9. Make sure that's checked. Hit Apply. Now we'll go up to Serial Ports on the left side. Select Port 1. And select TCP Sockets. Apply. Right, and we'll want to uncheck all of these and check this box. Now, the IP address you'll want to connect to is 207.119.127.170. And the TCP port is 8000. And enable the TCP keep alive. Hit apply. Now we're going to go into the basic serial settings. And we'll want to make sure the baud rate is set at 115,000. And you'll hit apply. Then we'll go under advanced serial settings. On this screen you want to check the send socket ID. And the socket ID will be the MAC address of your relay controller without the colon in it. Alright, scroll down and hit apply. And the last step will be to reboot on the left side, and then choose Reboot. And this may take a while. Once you reach this screen, go back over to Signal Switch, go to the Admin section, Manage, then you want to select Create Ethernet Device. Name the Ethernet device, whatever you want to. I'll just leave it as the default. Put in the MAC address. And I would suggest putting in the MAC address under the Commons field as well. Hit Create. You'll get Confirmation page. Select OK. Go back to Admin. And you'll see that the Ethernet device is connected. So, let's test it out. All right, I'm on a tab I named Ethernet. Let's go over to Edit. Assign Device. Ethernet device. All right. Well, let's see if it works. All right. It looks like it's working fine. Um, you might run into a problem here. Sometimes it takes a while for the server to talk to the Ethernet device. Sometimes it takes a while for it to realize it's there. So I would suggest following all these steps, and if it doesn't work, wait five minutes and try it again. Thanks.